call the meeting to order, too. Sorry. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Just to think, I put a tie on for this. <clears throat> The New Jersey Open Public Meetings Law was enacted to ensure the right of the public to have advance notice of and to attend the meeting of public bodies at which any business affecting their interests is discussed or acted upon. In accordance with the provisions of this act, the Cedar Grove Board of Education has caused notice of this meeting to be advertised by having the date, time, and place thereof posted on bulletin boards in the district, published and are transmitted to the Verona Cedar Grove Times and Star Ledger newspapers, tap into online news, <coughs> filed with the township clerk and posted on the district's website. <coughs> Roll call, please. Mr. Pravulovich. Yes. Mr. Schoner. Yeah, here. Mr. Valero. Here. Mr. Mandala. Here. Mrs. Dye. Here. The meeting is open to the public for comments on items on the agenda. Seeing none. You sure? You know, maybe I didn't get <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, it's a rough crowd. <laughs> Look at the crowd out there tonight. <laughs> oh, exactly. Committee reports. Well, first, hi, everybody. How's it going? Good afternoon. Hold on. Let's move out of the way. Committee no, no, reports no, no, are tonight. No. So here we are. We're a yes. half hour earlier. Half hour earlier. Are we right. feeling a half hour more awake? Or? No, I'm, I'm realizing why there's a lack of audience. That's half, why. That's, that's what it is. They're going to show up in a half hour. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. All the sports aren't finished They're yet. all watching from home. It's cold. They People are. are preparing for the big... Snowmageddon tomorrow. Yes. Snowmageddon. Yes. Snow there's no, there's no, yes, people were commenting how, you know, food town is. Right, I it's, heard. It's, it's, it's a bad place to be right it, now. It's also Don't Tuesday. It's like they never, wow. Yeah. All Everyone right. needs eggs and milk. I especially need eggs, Mr. Schoner. <laughs> <laughs> Are we baking a cake? I, I have eggs. I have tons of uh, egg shells for you. So moving <laughs> on, committee reports. Okay. What have you attended lately, Mr. Schoner? <laughs> So tell. I attended um, the Music Matters uh, meeting uh, recently, and uh, I'm just going to go, some of their big things is that the um, musical this year is Into the Woods. Oh, nice. Yes, nice. it's going to be a fun show. They're doing their senior citizen dinner show. Do you know show. what? It, do you did have the dates? Yep, I'm going to give them to you right now. Oh. Got them all ready. Go ahead. I'm going to write them, read them all off. Sorry. Okay, <laughs> we can take a little longer. <laughs> No, go on. So uh, they're doing the senior citizen di dinner and show, and what they do every uh, everything is the last dress rehearsal for the show. They invite the seniors in, and the CG the CGEA sponsors, I believe, Mr. Feather, at CGEA sponsors a dinner for the seniors. And you have so a they, date for that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the senior dinner is Wednesday, uh, February twenty eighth. The show dates of the um, of the show is Thursday. March 1st at 7, Friday, 3-2, uh, March 2nd at 7, Saturday, I believe, uh, there's a Saturday and uh, matinee and then evening performance, I believe. We just need ask. the dates. We don't need the three, times. Three. It's the weekend the of the 1st, is March that right? 1st, the there's going to be advertising all over. It's just March 1st through what? The 3rd or the 4th? 3rd, yes. Third? Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I found it useful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh my God! You know, it's like right bone teeth. teeth. And then there, um, the music department and the select choir and Jen Justin are doing the uh, Marlo Thomas uh, musical that was done in the '70s, I believe, called "Free to Be You and Me." It promotes. <laughs> there you go. It promotes tolerance, um, you know, anti-bullying, uh, acceptance, and so. Uh, Jen was moved by an incident that happened in her school district, and so what they're going to be doing is they're going to be going to schools in Verona and presenting the music to the schools of Verona, and then they're also going to be uh, doing Rockaway, an evening performance in Rockaway, and then they're going to do North End and South End and an evening performance in, uh, in Cedar Grove. And those dates Who's only without this? the times. What group is doing this? The music department at the high school. Oh, nice. It's a, gr it's a great show. Mm -hmm. Uh, no. Yeah. Oh, it's cool. Awesome. Yeah. What date? Um, Carol Hart really? died last week. Yeah, the one of the. You had to ask the date. Yes, yeah, the dates, but not the time. I'm going to give dates. you just the dates. Okay. 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 So uh, Cedar Grove is going to be on th Wednesday, three twenty-one, and they're going to arrange an evening <laughs> performance, which is pending right now on when the evening performance is for the parents to come and everyone else to come. 
but I believe it's going to be around 320 a one. I'll know better. Oh, so this one right now is this for the one, students? This, this one's for the, all oh, for the students. Oh, got it, got so, it, got so it. It's, it's from 316 to 321. They haven't locked in. Got I have to it. get the date for the show. It's really a great, you know, the chair said, it's, it's, a great, it's, a, it's a great show. There you go. I feel like we need to listen. Like we need to. I know Marlo it. Thomas. Did they say? Mar yeah. Marlo Thomas yeah. was a it, Carol Hart and her husband Bruce Hart. Uh, they were involved with the music. Alan Aldo, Rosie Greer, uh, and then Marlo Thomas was the one. Yeah, the Marlo Thomas was the one it. that put it all together. Cool. And it really is. Uh, it, it's it's really just about uh, anti-bullying once again, acceptance and just taking just people as they are. Excellent. <laughs> They're stereotyping. Yeah. It's, it's, it's for everyone, everyone uh, has great memories that remembers it. Um, everyone has and great memories. And what's it called again? It's, it's called Free to Be. Free to Be. You and Me. Thank you. And it was a big deal when they uh, did it at the time, and there's a book, and uh, they're re releasing it. Awesome. I play it for you, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Sing it for us now. <laughs> <laughs> there's a show on its own here tonight. <laughs> No, so that's good. Mr. Featherman, could you get the door, please? Uh, Three dollars <laughs> ahead. Red light is still on. Not yeah. really sure. <laughs> the uh, the spring music trip is to Boston from April 20th to the 22nd, um, and then also what they're doing at the high school every uh, m every uh, month they do what's called C CG Tonight, and CG Tonight is in the black box, and it is uh, where kids can do a song, comedy, tell jokes. That's it's, awesome. it's it's and it's it's they do it's it. It's generally on a board of ed night too, right? Yes, it is. Like the last few nights, yes, right? Yes. Yeah. And so it's always it's, Tuesdays. It's, it's, I'm I sorry. It's always Tuesdays. Tuesdays. Uh, yeah. I have the dates. I, I don't want to read them out because it'll take up too much time for Mr. Okay. Mandela. Okay. But I can give them to you afterwards. But it's actually really great. The, and you can. It, I you think know, it's awesome. It's a, for the black box. Yeah. It's awesome. And you get to do whatever you. Um, they try to encourage different types of performance. That's great. Yeah, it's, it's a really awesome. great thing. That was for Music Matters. Keep on going. Uh, yeah, for, I also attended the um, middle school FSA. Thank you, I yeah. appreciate you going for me. More than welcome. I'm gonna be uh, sparse with this because Mr. Decord is afraid that I'm going to be stepping on everything that he gave to Mr. Featherman that it's going to be included in the Super. Mr. Featherman's really not going to say too much. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the biggest, the biggest thing is uh, everyone should attend is Treps. Treps is on oh. March 18th. Is Treps at from, the Cedar Grove High School? From four to six, in case you need to. Four to six. Yeah, 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 I know you're big with times. I hope I'm here that um, weekend. Four to six. Four to six. Yeah, it's, it's just no. short. Was it longer last time? It's only two hours. That's Wait, right. Two hours? It is yes. only two hours. Yeah. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so what, one of the things that's been March. going on in the middle school is the Rotary Club has Four been getting six. involved with the peer <coughs> reader programs at the school. And it's a great way for young kids that really don't know what the Rotary Club is about to uh, experience that. And the ro Rotarians are able to come in and talk to the school. The other thing recently that I guess the Makers Club did is they, um, which was quite fantastic, they built a PC from scratch, all parts. Nice. Actually built the PC themselves. They got it at last of the um, middle school at the FSA meeting. They were able to build it, and they got it to turn on. That's so, pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And so now the goal is to hook it up to a monitor and to get the rest of it to work. And that's it for right now. All right. You blew the curve by 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Film club. Oh. And, I think oh, you yes. forgot something. Yes, I yes, yes. And the film club, uh, Cedar Grove High School last year, uh, we instituted a film club. We know that. And get I, get so, to where we are so now. <laughs> walk more. And so this year, we, the, we've entered a film in the Garden State Film Festival, and we should be finding out very shortly whether the film is accepted mm -hmm. uh, in the high school competition. If it is, that'll be great. And then the students are actu actually working on, our, um, working on additional films. And the Best of the Fest screening for the film club will be um, May 11th. So you should come, come this year. It will be great. And so what it is is a mixture of the Cedar Grove High School student films with the Best of the Fest from the Garden State Film Festival. And uh, it was really great last year. We had some great films. And we're going to bring back two favorites from the Garden State Film Festival from last year. Nice. And the kids are really very active. I think um, Mr. Morvito and Mr. Stefano will tell you they've had more kids than ever joining the film the film club and getting involved and uh, they're being very innovative <coughs> with the kids on how they pitch their ideas awesome it's great great club right. thank you welcome
Thank you. It'll start at 7 o'clock <laughs> on May 11th. <laughs> We're going to hear about this. So yes, 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 many more times before May 11th. A lot. I will. Actually. I know. <laughs> Be every month. Thirty other red carpets. Now. Um, I just had a question for you, and I don't want to steal your thunder because I'm sure it's in the report. But are you going to talk about the presentation today at the high school? Because I heard it was pretty was, great. Yes, it was. It didn't make the cut. Oh, <gasps> there. It is. See. All right. Well, maybe you could mention it now because I heard it was really good, and I didn't get a chance to attend because it was at 12 o'clock. Yes happy to. <laughs> so there was sort of an ad hoc invitation by Brandon Steiner. You may have heard of Steiner Sports Memorabilia. He's, he's a big name in the sports <clears throat> memorabilia world. Sort of a rags to riches story. And as you also know, we have Project Supa at the high school through our sports marketing program through Syracuse University. Uh, Mr. Steiner sits on the board up in Syracuse for their sports marketing department. So we were identified as a school with sort of this population of kids involved in sports management of all things through Syracuse University, whom, if you hear Mr. Steiner's story, plays a big part in who he has become as a 58-year-old, hugely successful businessman. So that was the link between Cedar Grove and Mr. Steiner, was through Syracuse and sports marketing. And so he met with our kids today. He spent the better part of three hours with our juniors and our seniors today, talking about his rags to riches story, perseverance, you know, uh, growing up in, in an apartment in Brooklyn, you know, cockroach infested with no money, and how he's become this the CEO of, of this wildly successful uh, company. But it's not just about how he mon monetarized his life. <clears throat> yes, he's super wealthy, but it's about the relationships he's created with people and encourage that in our kids. Whichever direction they, they choose to follow, you know, it's about the people and the impact you have on them and giving back at the end of the day. So he talked all about sort of uh, that aspect of life and what, what is winning? What does winning truly mean to you? What is success to, to him? <coughs> and our kids were uh, riveted. I mean, you know, a, a one-man show. Just, just talking, you know, with his, with his tales of growing up, and it's just an animated. You, you just, you're with him ten minutes, and you know why he's as successful as he is. And our kids were, were very impressed. That's so we're great. grateful. Very nice. Yeah, my daughter. She tells and me you're nothing. only doing it for a couple of I actually of heard from my son about this, which is uh, that's why it had to have been amazing because normally yeah, I would not be texted about. I and he even texted and said it was great. So. So just for the record, the superintendent's report, you know, is, is done prior to the day of, you know, you know it's... I didn't want to ruin you know. it for you if you were going to talk about it. That's why I was quietly mentioning it. It but. didn't make the cut, but okay. I assure you it'll be... Next time, ...mentioned right. next time. Absolutely. All right. Okay. Anything else? No, moving on. Yes. <laughs> moving on, apparently. Uh, From I'm the sorry, what time is that? <laughs> <laughs> From the Office of the Business Administrator and Board Secretary, under minutes, can I have a motion for B1 through B5? So moved. Second. Uh, B1 is a motion to approve the public and executive minutes of January 2nd. B2 is a motion to approve the budgetary transfers for the month of December. B3 is a motion to approve the Treasurer's Report for the months of July, August, and September. B4 is a motion to approve the Board Secretary reports for the month Board Secretary Report for the months of July, August, and September. And B5 is a motion to approve the board's secretary certification to the Cedar Grove Board of Ed pursuant to the code that no line item account has encumbrances, expenditures, which in total exceed the line item appropriation in violation of the code. Any discussion? No, ma'am. No. Roll call, please. Mr. Pravulovich. Yes. Mr. Schoner. Aye. Mr. Valero. Aye. Mr. Mandela. Aye. Mrs. Dye. Yes. Under bills, can I have a motion for B6? So moved. Second. B6 is a motion to pay the following list of bills that were in our packet. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Mr. Pervulovich. Yes. Mr. Schoner. Aye. Mr. Valero. Aye. Mr. Mandela. Aye. Mrs. Dye. Yes. Under business, can I have a motion for B7 through B10? So moved. Second. So last year I made the mistake of reading this entire thing because I was advised I had to. This year I know better. So B7 <laughs> is a motion to approve the following resolution to commend the efforts of the board members, that's us, throughout the state of New Jersey during school board recognition month. 
Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. B8. What, what, what time is that at? <laughs> B8 is a motion to approve the contract for out of district tuition for the student number listed for the remainder of the 17 18 school year. B9 is a motion to approve the tuition rate listed for students enrolled in the Cedar Grove Integrated Preschool Program uh, with payment options below. And B10 is a motion to accept the generous donation from Investors Bank in the amount of $500 um, for the Cedar Grove Waves project. Any so, oh no. discussion? Oh, no. no, sorry. <laughs> All right, well thank you uh, and I commend my fellow board members during this month. Roll call please. Mr. Prabulovich. Yes. Mr. Schoner. I to everything except B10. I'm abstaining from B10. Mr. Valero. Aye. Mr. Mandela. Aye. Mr. And I'd just like to thank uh, Investors Bank for supporting Cedar Grove Waves. Absolutely. Mrs. Dye. Yes. From the Office of the Superintendent, Superintendent of Schools, we yes. have the uh, superintendent yes. report that we are now we anxiously I that awaiting. Was that I think is chock full of information, except one piece, right? It's chock full, <laughs> missing some strategic information. However, uh, so nonetheless, the timing. Timing is everything. Timing is everything. As always, we <coughs> feature our Cedar Grove High School Student of the Month. If you don't know Justice, uh, you're missing out. She's amazing. Mr. Schoner was mentioning some things going on in the Black Box Theater. Is that blurry or is that my eyes? Am I, am I, have I? Yeah, it's a little blurry. It's a little blurry? A little blurry, a little blurry yeah. Did we, uh, no, it looks blurry to me. I don't want to touch I that I don't know. Can, Everything is blurry to me. It, it's a little blurry. <laughs> she's, she's wonderful. She's, she sings, she no, dances, that, she that's thinks. Better, yeah. she's, Thank you, that's good. She contributes, she, she, she peer leads. Justice is a fantastic young lady. So if you have a moment, read through the, the narrative. Congratulations to her. There's some great stuff going on, as always, at the middle school, as always in our district. This time we're highlighting STEAM, astronomy, and the cultural arts goings on at MMS. Just some quick pictures here. Interesting, uh, you know, interesting competition here. The Operation <coughs> Save Rapunzel, the uh, gifted and talented program, uh, before the holiday break, put on this, uh, this competition where they actually use an egg, this OSR STEAM project, where what you have to do is design a way for the egg to, like Rapunzel, escaping from her to her castle, for her, to her tower, from, sorry, from, from going from here down and falling without breaking. So uh, a lot of engineering. Wrap with some <laughs> right, interesting stuff. Toilet paper, really? oh yeah, we yeah. did a whole, I got to hear all about it. Right? That's great. It was How great. cool is that? That's great, that that's is good really stuff. cool. And they're also talking about astronomy. This is a NASA project that also involves some STEM and next generation science standards where kids had to create using some particular feature of a planet or a satellite to create these posters. I thought this one was interesting. This is Saturn, as you can see. And oh, it says, is the place to pop funny. the question? And I'll let your imagination come. That's yeah. pretty funny. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. The ring. Yeah, we got it. We, you're right. <laughs> I wasn't sure. I just want to make sure. You just said that's pretty I'm funny. Good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> and we want to thank Mr. Decord asked me to thank the FSA Cultural Arts Committee for uh, providing oh, the rock show cool. prior to the break. So that you was just great. That now. No, no, no. <laughs> so, I just think it's pretty cool how these kids are so creative. We're back to the ring. So, if we, we go back. No, I got it before, before but it just is amazing yeah. between their <laughs> robotics and everything else. These yeah. kids are very, very. It's worth another look. I don't know. But you think about it, you know, you have to take something. Would you think of the ring with no. popping the question? That's no. pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it probably was. <laughs> it is. Probably. Probably. <laughs> probably. So, yeah, mid middle school, of course, has some great stuff going on. Just a reminder our coffee talk is this Thursday. Uh, here at North End, we're going to be in room 116 down the hall. We'll have signs. Uh, we'll see you there at 6.30. We'll have coffee, tea, cookies. Open to all grade levels, pre-K through 12. Come on in. Tell us how we're doing. Ask questions. Raise concerns. We'll be there. From the board, who do we expect what to have What date is that and what time? Uh, this Thursday, Thursday, 6.30. Any oh, and just an update. I know I got an email. Um, high school parents, I think, got an email. We're in the subject line. It said 115 um, as the coffee talk. And I forgot to mention something. The to room you. number or the no date? the date. So, but in oh. the body of the email, it said this Thursday or something like that. So, just for clarity, it's not yesterday. No, it wasn't yesterday. Right. It's going to be to Thursday. <coughs> but the middle school one didn't. The middle school one said okay. the correct date. All right. So we apologize for any miscommunication. It's definitely Thursday.
right? Right here at North Absolutely. End. Absolutely. 6.30. It's prior to the North End FSA meeting, so if that makes it more convenient, stop on by. You can jump in any time. You can jump in, jump out. You don't have to be there for the full hour. That's not how the, the format works. Come in, say hello, off you go. The CGS Guidance Office, they released their winter newsletter. I thought I'd show you that. Uh, and of course, highlight you know the seniors' big lip sync win. Uh, the freshmen were were close, close second. Um, that made the cut, huh? It, it made the cut. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, it, it did. So that was Friday. Friday. Friday was close. <laughs> I was told I could use this clicker here. Let's see if I can get to this. Uh, does it work? That's it should work. No. He's trying to open the Joe? link. Joe. Yeah. He's trying. Wait, is it working? Oh, here it comes. Hey. Here it comes. The, the winter newsletter. Oh. I thought I'd highlight this. This it's chock full of good information. Please visit the site. Up top, we've got senior updates, talk on the X2 Vol Community Service Project, uh, testing PSAT, SAT information. Check it out. Why don't I just click on one of these links for you? Let's talk about some senior updates we have here. Now I'm going crazy. And there you have senior updates, all kinds of things going on about FAFSA forms, local scholarships, things like that. So am I okay? How am I doing so far, Jar? I know my, I mean, let me see if I can go backwards now. That's the... Uh, and, and, and so this is emailed out to the high school community? I'm not sure if it's emailed okay. out. That's a good question. Okay. Um, we're featuring it here. We'll have it posted in the Friday folder. We're, we'll push it out any way you'd like. How about an e-blast? How's that? Great. I thought it did like, you know that the winter did, newsletter is even out. better. It's a great <laughs> idea. How about, did you know we're only halfway through this? <laughs> Here's our seniors. Congratulations. Great group of kids. Fantastic group. I thought I'd share this with you. I, there was a lot of talk oh, yeah, about the, the leak here. Let me just show you the video if, if I can. This is the little, the little devil that created all of that uh, stir here. If you look carefully, you'll see a little, there it is, a little so sprinkle long. there. What is that? That's the water main break <laughs> we had. That's the Here's the pipe here. See the pipe? Look at that. I want to point out that's not inside the building. That was nope. outside. <laughs> that was the hole dug in the parking lot. That was the pipe that was leaking. And it was icy. And a special thank you to the Cedar Grove Township for really assisting with de-icing the parking lot, providing the materials to patch the hole between the gravel and the soil. Uh, it was a great partnership, and we're, we're thankful for that. Joe, where did I go here, Joe? I think I kind of jumped around a little bit. Thank you. Moving quickly, South End. Whoa, what happened? Whoa, we're back that to the quick. updates here. Wow, that was quick. We had some visits here to North End and South End. Of course, I love the pictures of the Grinch and Santa, of course. But I wanted to highlight more specifically Zippy and, his, and friends. We have a pro <laughs> Yes, that's just, <laughs> Don't rewind the tape. I did say Zippy and friends. That's why he's laughing. Yes. Uh, this little critter here sitting on Mr. Skaronic's lap is, zippy? A stick, is a stick bug. That's zippy. What and kind of bug? A stink? A stick, stick bug. Stick. Oh, yes. not stink. Stick. Sorry. This bug doesn't stink so far as I know. It's a <laughs> stick bug. And what Zippy and Friends is a program for uh, kindergartners through grade two where they're going to work on uh, s social skills and coping skills. And uh, a, a little spoiler alert, in module five of this program, uh, Zippy suffers, suffers a loss. Mm. Okay, in fact, we suffer the loss of Zippy. Wow. And part of the, the idea is here is to help our youngsters yeah. cope with things such as loss, the reality of life. And so that's part of this program, but it primarily focuses on social skills and coping skills. You really brought it down from there, didn't yeah. you? So <laughs> stay tuned. Let's enjoy Zippy while we have it. <laughs> Right. right. Now I want to know what happens to Zippy. <laughs> so now you know. Spoiler Poor alert. Right. right. So I also wanted to highlight the fact that we have a breaking news here. We have our new YouTube channel. It's not that new, but I did want to make sure I got it out there. Uh, let's see if I can. Uh, where am I? Here, here I am. Let's try this one last time. I promise this is my last, my really last one here. Try B3 for three? I just wanted to show you our YouTube channel. There's some <coughs> great things going on, so please visit the channel. Where did I go? Here it is. Here it is. Popping up here. It's got some great stuff. All of our board meeting videos are there, uh, updates. Uh, Joe, how do I scroll down to show? Yeah. Here you see all of our board meeting uh, videos captured here. Some other things that have been captured in recent months. Uh, check it out. You know, visit us on YouTube, okay? It's, uh, 
We're out there. Can't hide from us. We're everywhere. Agreed. Thank you. You're done? I'm done. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yes. That was a great report. It Thank was. You. And we do encourage everybody, as much as we joke, to actually, it, it's got a, a ton of good information. And it's come so far from just, you know, a, a five-page report with lots of bullets. So right. this is a lot more interactive and meaningful. Yep. So thank you for taking it making really the effort. You don't as get the same as side comments as you would here. We do appreciate it. Absolutely. So moving on. From the Office of the Superintendent of Schools under Personnel, can I have a motion for S1 through S11? So moved. So moved. I heard a second. Okay, yeah, second. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, my microphone wasn't on. That's why I... S1 is a motion to approve the superintendent's report that we just heard. S2 is a motion to approve Michael Schilling, boys JV lacrosse coach, um, for the 17-18 school year. S3 is a motion to approve Christopher Kinney, Director of Special Services, to serve as the School Safety Specialist for the Cedar Grove School District. <clears throat> S4 is a motion to approve the following personnel for homes and supplemental instruction. S5 is a motion to approve the extra class teaching stipend um, for the amount listed uh, prorated for the following teachers listed below. S6 is a motion to approve the following substitute nurse for the 1718 remainder of the 1718 school year. S7 is a motion to approve the following substitute teachers for the 17-18 school year. S8 is a motion to approve the following as school volunteers. S9 is a motion to authorize attendance at the following events. S10 is a motion to approve the following leaves, leave of absence. S and S11 is a motion to retroactively approve the following students for classroom observation. I'm going to say any discussion, and I'm just going to point out, I guess uh, Ms. DeMarsico missed us, and she wants to come back sometimes. Yes, and the need is That's mutual. great. We, okay. We need uh, nurses. That's great, and she knows us, and that makes it easy and nice as well. Any other discussion? Roll call, please. Mr. Pervulovich. Yes. Mr. Schoner. Aye. Mr. Valero. Aye. Mr. Mandela. Aye. Mrs. Dye. Yes. Uh, under contracts, can I have a motion for S12? So moved. Second. Um, S12 is a motion to approve the following contracts for special education students as recommended by the Director <coughs> of Special Services. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Mr. Pervulovich. Yes. Mr. Schoner. Aye. Mr. Valero. Aye. Mr. Mandela. Aye. Mrs. Dye. Yes. The meeting is open to the public for comment on items on or off the agenda. I don't want to rush anyone. Yeah. Seeing none. <coughs> Uh, announcement for future meetings. The next meeting we have here is yeah, February 6th, uh, North End, 6.30 Executive, 7.30 Regular. I think this is working out as our, our new time. Um, and February 27th is a big meeting. We yes. will be hosting the Cedar Grove Town Council uh, here <coughs> at North End also. We're just finalizing the time if it's going to be 6.30 or 7, so stay tuned and we'll have the definite time by February 6th, if not much sooner. Uh, we're very excited. We're inviting uh, everyone, uh, clearly, to come, and it's going to be a good dialogue between us and the council. We've been talking about this um, for a while as a, uh, as a get-together, and uh, we've finally been able to make it happen with everybody's schedules. So we are looking forward to hosting them, and, uh, and then they will host us, I think, some point later in the year. Yeah. So we're excited about that as well. So we hope people can show up. Any further discussion? No, ma'am. Comments? Anything? Nope. All right. Well, can I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Uh, roll call, please. <laughs> Mr. Pervulovich. Yes. Mr. Schoner. Yes. Aye. Ms. Mr. Valero. Aye. Mr. Mandela. Aye. Ms. Dye. Yes. The meeting is over. Have a good night and stay tuned about the snow. We're not making the call tonight. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> is it even snowing? Yeah, I don't think it is. No, it's not. <laughs> Yeah.